Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am again in Josh's kitchen. I do apologize, but the lighting right now is gonna be going in and out because it is late in the afternoon. So I do apologize for the lighting. We're just gonna work with it. But today I bring you my favorites for the month of July. And yes, we are officially more than halfway through the year. Christmas is gonna be just around the corner. It is blowing my mind, but nonetheless, I still have some really awesome favorites that I am so excited to share with you guys and I have pretty much everything that I have is brand new I don't think it's been in a favorites before maybe one or two things but um I don't think it has actually Everything that you are seeing right now, I have either shown in my Sephora University haul or shown in my Sephora haul. So if you have seen either one of these or either one of those videos, then you will have seen these products that I'm going to show you guys. So everything that you are seeing today, you can purchase at Sephora, but I am so excited to share with you guys all my favorites because I've been using this product almost every single day um, for the last like month and I think, yeah, it's been how long? How long have we been open for? Some things I've been using for a good couple of months and some of them I've been using for a couple of weeks and I've just been loving them and I just can't wait to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see what is in my July favorites, then just keep watching. So I want to start this favorites off with all of my base and face products. So I have a foundation that I have been loving and have been wearing um, almost, I would say, like 80% of the time. Um, it is the Becca. This is the Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream Foundation. And just for reference, I do have combination oily skin. So for those who have the same skin type as me and you're wondering because it is a cream foundation, it sits beautiful beautifully on our skin and this particular one does have to be set really well but I find usually I only have to touch up once twice max throughout the whole entire day and if you are an oily girl you know that you get oily throughout the t-zone or anywhere else it's the hot mess and if you can just touch up less than what you used to then it is an amazing product and I find this particular product is incredible it is full full coverage it just sits on the skin so beautifully it makes it look flawless. I am obsessed with it. I'm wearing it today. It just makes my skin look incredible. I just, I honestly cannot recommend this product enough. If you are after a new foundation, it is a little bit on the pricey side. I believe it's $72, um, but it is, in my opinion, worth every single dollar. And of course, you can get samples of it if you are in a Sephora or if you're near one. Um, definitely try a sample of it. If not, I would recommend just taking the plunge and getting it because it is incredible. Incredible, and I honestly cannot recommend it enough. And just for shade reference, by the way, right now this one is a little bit, it is my fake tan shade. And of course you can see that my fake tan is totally faded. I'm going to be fake tanning again tonight. But um, just for shade reference, I do use the color Nude. Now I am typically not one to fall into, I would say like beauty trends or um, any kind of new products. I am not usually one to follow those kind of trends or um, I'm usually pretty late to jump on every single bandwagon that is going on right now. But this particular product I was very excited about and I really could not resist. And I truly think that it is worth the hype. And I'm talking about the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. Yes, this is, the most beautiful like face palette ever. I'm so obsessed with it right now, but this is just to die for. Honestly, even just the packaging makes me just like so happy. This just makes my soul happy. It just is so beautiful. But in this palette, if you haven't seen it, which I'm sure majority of you have, you do get you um, so you do get two highlighters and also three blushes. So every single day, oh my god, I've scraped it. There is a dig mark in my champagne pop. There has been a slight death in the family. <laughs> it's okay. I use it every day, so it's fine. Continuing on from the funeral, um, so I use Champagne Pop every single day, and some days I will mix it with Prosecco Pop, which is more of a nice golden tone, and I would say maybe 70% of the time I do use Rose, uh, Rose, what is it called? Rose Spritz, the blush color. This has 
a little bit a little bit of a sheen to it and these two colors I don't reach for too often for blushes but they make really nice eyeshadows and this is a really nice warm brown tone so it goes perfectly in the crease area and I just deepen it up with the pink a little bit in the socket if I'm going for more of a warmer eye um, it's what I've kind of done today mixed with a couple of eyeshadows that I'll show you but nonetheless it is a beautiful palette and it is worth every single dollar if you can get your hands on it oh, oh my god oh my god Really almost just had a heart attack. I almost dropped this on the tiles. <laughs> Pretty sure I just banged my knee on the dishwasher cube like door handle and I can feel there is a bruise developing already. But you know what? It's so worth it because I didn't drop it on the tiles. <gasps> So this next product I am seriously in love with and I don't hear enough people talking about it which makes me so sad but I really want to convert some people onto it and I really want you guys to go give it a go if you have a Sephora around you. This is actually from the Sephora brand and it is their high coverage concealer. This concealer is literally my life. I use this every day day. This is beautiful. This one is empty. I have gotten my second one. Um, I'm going to open it tomorrow because I'm scraping the barrel and I did today and I'm so in love with it. For shade reference, I do use the, uh, the color cream. I think there's four or five shades to choose from in the range, uh, but they are seriously incredible, you guys. It is high, high coverage. It has a really nice applicator. Um, it's like a flat kind of paddle almost. Really good though. I just cannot stress enough how much I want you guys to try this. If you have a Sephora around you, just go swatch it and go have a play. It's relatively inexpensive. I believe it's around $22 or $24. So it is relatively inexpensive. If you are going to Sephora, you know how some things are quite expensive. This is definitely on the lower end of prices. And I honestly just can't stress enough how much I love this product. It is incredible. Um, yeah, just go try it if you're in the market for a new concealer. Moving on to eye products. Now I have two eye products that I want to share with you guys. First one being a mascara. Now I have heard nothing but good things about this product and I seriously, like I like I said, I'm not one to really jump onto bandwagons. I'm really late to the party for a lot of things and this thing is seriously like so, so old and everybody's been talking about it for years. Um, this mascara is by Tarte. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I cannot tell you guys how much I love this product. This gives the most amazing amount of length and a little bit of volume. I always tell all of our customers if you want a lot of volume with this particular product because the brush is quite dense, I really focus it on the base of my lashes. I really wiggle it and then just pull up and that just gives both volume and length and I just cannot stress to you guys um, how much I love this product. It is really, really nice. And I will admit I am very late to this bandwagon and I think it is worth every single dollar. And it is relatively inexpensive as well. For this mascara in Sephora, Australia, it is $27, I believe. So it's like the same price as Revlon and L'Oreal. So save a couple of dollars and get the Tarte one. I seriously use this palette every single day, like no joke, every day. It doesn't matter what uh, what eye look I'm doing, I will use this eyeshadow palette religiously every day. Um, this, if you haven't tried anything from Zoeva before, this is one thing that I would probably recommend trying if you are in the market for a just kind of universal, like every shade available kind of palette. It is the Warm Spectrum Palette. They do fantastic eyeshadow palettes and they're so, so inexpensive. For the 10 eyeshadow pans, which is like the Cocoa Blend, Naturally Yours, those kind of palettes which I know a lot of people are into they're only $39 and they're so inexpensive it's like 319 eyeshadow so they're really good quality I would recommend those as well but today I am talking about the warm spectrum palette this one is 75 and you do get 15 eyeshadows in this and the pigmentation on these are so incredible I use every single day I use this light brown shade um, as my first color it doesn't matter what color look I'm doing I will chuck this in the crease and that is like my base trend transition color. I am trying to start, I'm using the orange shade almost every single day. I've popped a little bit in today. Um, I just feel like it gives the right amount of warmth that I'm looking for. I really like warm tone looks. So this color is seriously coming through to me. I do have this color on here all over the lid today. Um, and I have mixed a little bit of this color and the orange on my lower lash line. And I just, 
I cannot get enough of this palette, you guys. If you're going to try anything and you like eyeshadow palettes, try this one. It is seriously so amazing. The pigmentation is just like, it's unreal. Like, you know, like it's just got really good pigmentation. It's definitely worth it. So if you're after a new eyeshadow palette, try the Warm Spectrum palette. You will not be disappointed. Now, I, again, was never one to use pomades in my eyebrows. I just felt like I was just not neat enough for them. Um, I really am quite sloppy with my eyebrows, but pomades have officially changed my life. <laughs> like, not even exaggerating. They have changed my brow game so drastically. I don't know why it's taken me this long to get on the bandwagon. So I have been using the Benefit Cabral, and this is such a good product. I find this is a little bit um, harder and a little bit um, not as creamy as the other pomades as well that I've kind of played with and just like felt and swatched, um, which is why I think I like it so much. So this is the Cabral. It comes in a couple different shades. I use shade number two. So it's more of like a taupey kind of color. So it's perfect for any blonde color. Um, it's just really, really nice. And like I said, it's a little bit harder, so it's easy to work with. So if you're not as, um, advanced in pomades like myself then this will probably be one that you will like and it also comes with a brush which I also use every day it's actually a decent brush and you pop it in the lid and take this off and that's your brush as well so it's kind of a two-in-one product and I think it's really worth it and I really really enjoy it and I find it really easy to use as well so if you're wanting to try a good pomade um, but you're a little bit scared of them try this one it is really nice and again I highly recommend it I feel like everything that I'm talking about today is something that I really like wasn't planning on like jumping on the bandwagon for. These next products are definitely probably one of the top things that I never thought I was going to get into because I hate liquid lipsticks. But these particular products I'm quite a fan of. The Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks are seriously game changing. I think these two particular colors are incredible. Um, so Lolita, which is this bottom one here, is seriously, it's got my heart completely by like every string, like every heart string available, this has got it. I wear this almost every single day. But of course today I am wearing Bow and Arrow, which is another favorite. It is a very unusual color for me. Um, this is completely out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I felt a little bit uncomfortable purchasing it, but I wanted to try it because I obviously work in cosmetics and there's so many different brands and I didn't want to keep on wearing my pinky nudes, which I do always love, but um, these seriously have pushed me out of my comfort zone just a little bit and I really love them so, so much and they're very comfortable to wear as well. I find these, particu these two particular shades haven't dried um, to that uncomfortable, like life sucking out of your lips kind of lap. Um, matte lipstick does and I honestly I cannot get enough of these and I again highly recommend them if you don't like um, the usual matte lipsticks try these two colors I find that they're not too drying at all and um, I think they're game-changing honestly I really like them so that is all of my makeup favorites. Now I do have some random favorites that I want to share with you guys. So I've just pulled them up on my phone. I've only got a couple of random favorites to share with you guys today. I've got two song favorites and a TV show favorite. So the two songs that I've been loving recently is Cold Water by Justin Bieber. I'm sure everybody is loving that song right now because it is incredible. It's so catchy and I have it on repeat pretty much every day. Um, also, this is completely on the opposite side of the spectrum of um songs from what I just mentioned. Uh, Purple Lamborghini is the song for Suicide Squad and I'm seeing it next Saturday night. Oh my god, I literally die. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for that movie to come out for so long. Like, it's a joke. Um, so Purple Lamborghini by Rick Ross and Skrillex is definitely a favorite. I'll leave them in the description box so you guys can go check them out if you are wanting to listen to them. And my favorite TV show favorite of the month is Scream. If you guys like a good thriller slash horror, um, it's kind of, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't really say it's inspired by the movies at all. It's got a really, um, kind of typical teenage like scary movie um, kind of background to it but it's a little bit better. Um, I've just been watching it religiously every single Wednesday. I'm totally obsessed and if you guys like um, a thriller slash horror TV show maybe check it out. It's on Netflix. It's really addictive um, but it's on every Wednesday night and I watch it religiously. So that guys is everything in my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorites are for the month of July. Um, leave them in the comments down below. I'll definitely check them out and 
And again, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.